Ah, hello! My name is Gustav and welcome to my kitchen. Now you may be wondering, where's my hat? Well, guess what? Contradictory to what Felipe says. Good chefs don't need hats. Good chefs need good skills. That is why today I will be cooking for you Wiener Schnitzel. Okay, so the first ingredients to Wiener Schnitzel. I thought that the Vienna sausage would be good since, you know, Vienna, Wiener is the same difference. So, first thing you must do is pop it open. Bloof. Oh, so pretty, is it not? It looks wonderful. Second one, bloop, wash, drop. This is the part where you must get very into it. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and smelly, because that's you can't avoid that now. So now we will make sure that it's good in a cat food texture. Scrumdiddlyumptious. <clears throat> That's some good stuff. So, next thing you need, Wiener Schnitzel, is a breaded flat meat patty. So bread it. So what to do? Grab bread. Yeah. So you take it and you just tear it up. Tear it up, tear it up. Tear it up. And while you're doing this, if you have a fourth hand, you reach over, grab the pan, go ahead, you put some butter in it. So then you're going to want to take the Vienna sausage blech, and then put it into the pan. You're going to want to try and make it solid. One big thing, stir up the heat. Oh, this is going to work very good. Mm. Look at that, look at that. Doesn't it look wonderful? Look at that, it's my masterpiece. A month of work. I have to save up money to uh, buy the Vienna sausages. Oh, there it is, it's bubbling. That is a good sign. So you're going to want to press down on it. Try and solidify it. Uh, uh. And don't be worried if it looks like cat food. I eat cat food, it's fine. Perfectly sanitary. Very, very good. Yum yum. And uh, if you don't like it, you can always feed it to your cat. Because, uh, yeah. And if you want, you can always substitute the Vienna sausages with cat food. It works. Very, very good. So, we're going to let that cook. So now that it is nice and solid in a patty, we should go ahead and grab the fine china. Finest china in the world. And then you're going to want to put it on here. It is patty. Then you're going to want to move on to the breading process. Probably going to want to watch that immediately because, uh, ew. Ah, now comes the breading process. You just put it on there. You should just pile it on. Don't be afraid to use all the bread you just shredded. It's what it's for. Looks pretty good, don't you say? So, let's go sit down and have a nice eat. So, we have our food. Let's try it. It's delicious. It's wonderful. It's nice and salty. It's very solid. And let's get something else to try it. Hello, kitty cat. Would you like to try my food? Come on, try it. It's very good. Look. It's delicious. Here, try. Oh, yeah.
Of course, Gustav could not be good chef. Gustav makes cat food with bread. It tasted good at first, and then I got food poisoning. That was disgusting. Ah, I guess Felipe was right. Oh, he can't be right. Gustav is good chef. He will prove so. Or he will die trying. 